All right. We are at the Square X booth. This is Sean Martin coming to you on location from RSA conference. And uh, I just had a great chat with Vivek, the CEO and founder of Square X, where we're talking all things web browser security, protecting the applications at the web layer, web browser layer, a place many organizations might think they're covered, but not quite covered all the time. And I'm here with two of the two of the folks who flew all the way from Singapore to talk to the folks here in San Francisco. So maybe a quick introduction from each of you. Uh, and your role at Square X. Yeah. Hi everybody, I'm Dakshita. I'm the product evangelist at Square X. Very good. Uh, hi everyone, uh, I'm Shore and I work as a principal software engineer at Square X. Nice one. So the builder and the, and the storyteller. Yes. Here we are. Nice uh, we're going to have some fun. So the, the first thing I want to ask you, because it, it, it's one thing to look at what technology means to an industry, and you can weave that into your, your answer here, but I want to understand what working on this, what working at Square X means to you. So I'll start with you. Yeah, so, so I'm really privileged to be able to work at a company that is trying to make a difference in the industry as compared to just you know trying to target like a small group of uh, people. So I feel like um, the research that I do at work, or like you know, whatever small means I'm contributing to, is actually con it's actually making a difference in the larger uh, space. And this space has been around for like 20, 30 years, and you know has not seen um, so much innovation as much as SquareX is trying to bring into the space today. So it just it just feels really an you know, honor to be part of this. Yeah. I love it. I love it. it feel, feels good. Uh, for me as well, you know, it's a very interesting problem and uh, as an engineer, you know, it's always great when you get problems who can, who can be like, you know, solved in a very interesting way. Uh, building things have always been uh, absolutely great at SquareX because you also get to see them going out, you know, to the customers, you also try them out, get the feedback and it feels very satisfying, you know, also coming here at our, our sector today where we are able to actually see the reactions of people like how they're liking it and uh, it, it's quite interesting because we're also pushing the limits of browser itself like you know sitting as a browser extension uh, we are trying to take the whole juice out of it and you know trying to uh, find as much data as we can and uh, make our attack graphs the detection and everything uh, as enriched as we can yeah. and it's a cool cool way you look at it I was when I was talking to, to the VEC, he said basically, if I describe it correctly, if I remember correctly, an AI generated image of the session or the browser that you then um, re-engine, re, re de engine <laughs> reverse engineer, probably a better way to say it, that AI generated image to understand what's going on and what's underneath. Yeah. I don't know, I presume you're working on some of this stuff. Can you describe it much better than me, please? <laughs> sure, 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 sure. I mean, it's like, you know, there are different ways uh, a malicious file can basically reach a computer. And one of the ways people often do it is via images. Like, they often hide it all inside an image. To a normal user, it might just look like a normal image, but it might have some hidden files inside. So, uh, the attack that you're referring to is kind of an attack where, you know, people hide these files within a file, also called as technography. And where, you know, those smaller components inside the file, uh, inside the image in this case, come out, they come together and become a fight. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. So you mentioned earlier, speaking to uh, speaking to the speaking to prospects and customers here. Um, what are some of the things that you're hearing from them that they're concerned about that SquareX can help them with? So I mean, the first thing is that often it's a problem for people to get an overall uh, picture of how exactly an attack happened within the organization. And having something like attack graph was something which was uh, making it very interesting for them, because we were giving a very context-aware, uh, you know, uh, uh, the whole journey of you know how an attack actually reached their employees. So that was something uh, people were having a lot of interest on, and they were asking questions about it. Yeah, I think the most interesting part for them was definitely like the fact that they didn't even know that this data was available to them. Right, because okay. people have endpoint security solutions, people have secure web gateways and all of those. 
and they say okay we know that it detects to a certain amount and that's the best we can do and they just they're just okay with it because that's what every other provider is doing and then now we're here to tell them that hey there's a gap in between did you know that there was a gap in between and did you know that we can actually get the data for you and that excites them most of them are like really thrilled by it some of them think like okay that's so obvious how did i not even you know consider this before that's like a common reaction that we get yeah it's easy to get stuck in a rut and and good enough doesn't have to be good enough exactly exactly love it well visibility from square x gives you the ability to take action at the web browser level and i thank you both for uh joining us here at RSA Conference and, and making that journey and hopefully it's a success, successful journey back home as well. Thank you so much. Thanks, Thanks so for much. visiting our booth. Yes. Thank you.